Hi guys, this is Johanna Ali from Silvery Joe and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting my channel, thank you for being here with me and make sure that you subscribe. If you're coming back to watch me again, welcome back guys. Now, I use the term sewing plants very loosely because I usually always change my mind, but some of these things, I've got some good ideas of what I'm gonna do with it and hopefully I'll stick to it. So, let's get right into it. I received this fabric from LA Finch Fabrics in LA and um, these were gifted to me. So I'm going to make something really cool with them. So let's see what happens. Okay, so first off, I've got this. Let's see, this is what you would search on LA Finch's website. It is the designer dead stock Graham plaid red cotton shirting. It is currently $12.50. And this is a red plaid fabric, as you can see. It's cotton. It's not see-through at all, so that's nice. You won't really have to line it. And the other fabric that I received from them is also a designer dead stock, and it's a cross hat yard dyed chambray. I love this fabric. It has a nice drape to it. So for these two, I had several ideas. Um, I was thinking of maybe possibly making McCall's 8118 for the um, chambray. So no. Then I was also thinking of for the chambray, this um, shirt dress from Mimi G. This is Simplicity 8030, and I think that either one of these would look great, don't you think? And um, other possibilities for the plaid is another Mimi G pattern. This is 8889 for the top, or um, I have, I was looking through my, my, um, patterns and I just gravitated towards this. I think a plaid shirt, um, either in this style or the cold shoulder, I, I think I'm gravitating towards this one. I think would look so cute with this bow. I'm really digging it. And then, um, another shirt idea would be Simplicity 9045. And then lastly, this would be cute too. Um, this is McCall's $79.59. And really, any of the views, but I think I like view A the most. So those are the ideas that I had from, for the fabric from LA Finch. Now, now. Let's talk about melanated fabrics. Um, Mimi G and Brittany J. Jones have collaborated and they opened up their own online fabric store. So of course, you know, I had to grab a few yards of some yummy fabrics. If you haven't been on their website, then you really do need to. I will link it below. I'll link everything that I possibly can below. Um, I opened it. I'm sorry that I didn't do an unboxing, but I'm in love. First of all, let's talk about how they tag their fabrics. And the fabric tag um, tells you the kind of fabric it is. So this, look at this. I love this animal print. This is a viscose crepe and the colors are black and brown obviously the width is 60 inches and the content is a hundred percent rayon i love this so much because first of all i am horrible at fabric content period everything is either a woven or a knit to me don't ask me 
if it's a, a crepe or whatever I, I have no idea so this is so helpful oh and also it has the uh, care instructions so for this particular fabric it says hand uh, machine wash warm or dry I normally just wash my fabrics however I plan on um, taking care of them once I actually sew it up um, but this is this is fabulous right here it's amazing look at how cool um, okay so that is one of the fabrics that I purchased from them the next one now Brittany J Jones made uh, the Sicily dress which is actually this dress as well and I saw her with this fabric a few months ago and I was dying for it and come to find out it was gonna be in melanated fabrics so this is a silky satin cheetah print is what it's called and it is 100% polyester hand or machine wash cold air dry cool iron and I purchased four yards I don't know what I'm gonna make with this uh, maybe a pretty blouse um, I don't know but it's just beautiful I mean I may just hold on to it for a while and just love it <laughs> okay and last but not least I got um, this fabric honestly I didn't even know I wasn't paying attention at the fabric content not that it would have made a difference because I probably wouldn't have even like really realized what it was but this is like I would call it like a knit ITY uh, let's see what it says here this is called the printed IT ITY ITY knit animal print and it is 95% polyester and 5% spandex hand wash or machine wash cold and again I purchased four yards of this what what drew me to this fabric is the different animal print patterns on it so it goes like from small to big to like cheetah to leopard and I think that this would make the cutest wrap dress I don't know what pattern yet but I'm thinking that that's what it may be super cute all right let's keep this train rolling oh and this card I don't know if it's um, if everyone will receive this but um, it says, thank you. Your order made our day and we hope we made yours. If you have any questions regarding your order, please don't hesitate to contact us. We are thrilled to provide you with exceptional service. Please enjoy 10% off your next purchase. Yes, I will. Thank you. I've already seen um, fabric that I want to use. But again, congratulations to Mimi and Brittany. And I can't wait to buy more fabric from you guys. Okay, now this next one, I purchased this over the summer. And if you are not familiar with the Nina Remo fabric box from My Daily Threads, then I don't know what you're doing with yourself. These boxes sell out in minutes, not hours, minutes. Um, I think it's a monthly thing a monthly uh, box comes out uh, Shari has added more fabrics it, like each month she adds more fabrics and they sell out just as fast so we'll open this together because I've been dying to um, to review it I've used um, a fabric from her before I'll see if I can figure out how to put in a picture in there so you could see it it was from the Havana collection and it was beautiful um, so let's open this up look at this packaging guys how cute is this with the thank you oh she's got like notions in here thank you for supporting my small business how cute These, I've seen this before. Honestly, don't laugh at me. I'm not really sure what it, what it is for. It, it looks like it's like for um, thread. I'm not sure. I'm gonna look it up. 
Uh, and then this is um, a seam, I guess, so you could measure your uh, the seams with this. I've seen this before also. And then this is for thread as well. This is probably for the, to keep the bobbin thread in. Okay, look at how adorable this is. It says, thank you. Thank you for your purchase and for supporting the My Daily Threads Nina Rummel fabric box. I truly hope you love your fabric selection as much as I did choosing it for you. I love seeing the fabrics from our boxes being used to bring your creative visions to life. Please tag My Daily Threads on social media with your makes as I would love to highlight the beautiful items you create on our vision on our various social media platforms. And then she has fabric care. Now I purchased a, um, a stress cotton fabric and she tells you stress cotton is ideal for creating fabulous garments such as fitted dresses, shirts, trousers, blazers, jackets, and certain jeans. Our purpose for this fabric is to dry clean our hand wash and pool water with mild detergent and air dry. If you choose to machine wash, we suggest using gentle cycle cold water, special mild detergent like folate, and air dry over machine dry. Listen, I'm gonna be straight up with you. I wash everything. I don't dry, I hardly dry clean anything. So I probably won't be dry cleaning this fabric. But anyway, let me show you what I bought. It is so yummy. Oh my God. So, it's soft. Oh man, the color is so vibrant. So, when I purchased this, I saw a blazer and pants, like a pantsuit is what I have in mind. Like some fitted pants and a nice fitted jacket. I think this would look super cute. So that's what I have in my head for this. Will that happen? I don't know. We'll see. But make sure that you watch out. Um, go subscribe to My Daily Thread so you can find out when her next uh, box is gonna be released and make sure that you turn on notifications because you'll miss out I missed out last month probably the month before last like it sells out so fast sorry I'm putting all the stuff <laughs> to the side okay now I don't know if you caught my last videos where I did the citrus dress as part of the so your view so long i was the guest host last month i had so much fun so this month's so your view is the mimi g coat that just came out this is simplicity 9186 so i decided that i'm gonna make this uh let me show you the fabric that i chose now i purchased this fabric such a long time ago at Joann's. I think it was last year, maybe. I don't remember. Um, this is a quilted black and white buffalo check. And um, it's also reversible, so you could do gray on the inside and do the black and white on the outside. Now, my plan for this, I'm gonna make a jacket because I live in South Florida and I'm not gonna use the coat. I'm more likely to use the jacket. So I'm gonna make a shorter length with this fabric that using this side. And I think that the sleeves, so the sleeves are, are a knit fabric. I think I'm gonna use red. That is my plan. Now, it is now November 15th today, the day that I'm recording. Uh, the So Your View has to be done by the end of the month. Will I get it done? I don't know. Uh, I will have some sewing time coming up because I'm gonna take Thanksgiving week off. So we'll see. And so last but not least is this pink yumminess that I picked up at my local fabric store. Uh, they are called A to Z Fabrics. They're not online, but they do have a store in Lauder Hill, Florida, and they have one in Miami Gardens. If you're ever in the area, stop on in. You won't regret it. They have a very large selection of fabrics, and it's really a shame that they're not online. 
or is it it's a good thing that i don't like because i'd be buying more fabric so this is like a chevron quilted knit fabric this is the outside of it and this is the inside this is so cute so my plans for this fabric is to make a cardigan from fiber mood um i will be part of the fiber mood link party this wednesday coming up hopefully i'll have this video out before then um so that you guys can go check out what i make with this fabric over at the link party and i'm i know i'll be posting it on my instagram at silvery joe so make sure that you check it out and so folks that's it that's all i've got it's been a while since i've done a fabric haul um really because i haven't been purchasing as much fabric or patterns since since march since the lockdown so i really haven't had much to share but this was a lot of fun i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure that you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so that you are notified the next time that i upload a video until next time bye guys <laughs>